Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Tuscan trade terror campaign for Europa Universalis 4. I'm really enjoying Italy. I just really like how defensive we are. How offensively we can be defend- I mean, like, it's just- it's- it's awesome. Like, there's been a coalition against us the entire game, but because of the mountains of Italy, and the fact that we can upgrade the fort level and have 60-some percent increased defensiveness, it's like, it doesn't even matter. They're requesting that I come to the aid in the Castilian Crusade against Fez. Yeah, sure. So that means we are at war down here. My navy should be totally safe. Uh, we're at war with just Fez and Mali. I don't really want anything out of this. I do want to go to war with Algiers and make them release Tunisia. And this one is one where I would want to vassalize. So I think we... We should try to attack Algiers at some point. Except that I don't really have the relationships yet. Great Britain. Very close to an alliance. We should improve relations with them again a bit more. I'm getting caught on all my fabrications. Which stinks. So if I improve with them, they might just offer me an alliance themselves. Aw, that's sad. They've got rebels. If I knew what that symbol meant, I think that's just peasants. We have to wait for a navy to, f to go by. Come on, navy. There it is. Yeah, it's just peasants. So they're just going to want lowered taxes. Make Brandenburg vote for us. Maybe we can do that. Brandenburg? Negative 270. No, they're... They think I'm a heretic. Protect against France. I have 98 regiments. Well, I suppose... I mean, we can have 110. It's, it's probably appropriate to train up a fifth stack. So let's grab our one infantry who is the odd man out and we'll build a new one so you'll need five more infantry you'll need four cavalry and ten artillery um, crap four one two three four five shoot six I'm gonna lower maintenance just slightly We are at war, but I'm not going to help them. Why would I help them? I know I said I would, but... What, did you expect me? I don't have any transports. I mean, did you, did you not realize that I don't have transports? I don't do that. I, I make trade ships. <laughs> we focus on trade. That's what we do here. Achieve religious unity? No. That pretty much handles revolt risk. In fact, we don't even have revolt risk here anymore, really. It's pretty solid. We don't have a truce with you anymore, right? We still have the truce with the Ottomans for a bit. Let's see if that made the Great Britain people want to join us. Yes, they did. Great. We're allies. Good. Castile. Guess we'll improve with them again. So we've got our claims on Switzerland. We've got our claims on France. We don't need anything else from Austria. Do we? There is one more province. Crane. Alright. Fabricate a claim on Crane, then. The coalition involves quite a few people. France, Bavaria, Austria, Switzerland, and Ulm. Now, France doesn't really have any allies that we care about. They're allied with Portugal. I'm going to declare war on France. I want to beat up France. I think we can take them.
Our force limit is also, or our supply limit is also really high because I've been building up the fort level. The uh, supply limit is affected by technology. I'm pretty sure, mostly sure, yep. It says 0.5, which actually means 50%. From technology, 100%. And we've built up one, two, three. Maybe that's not right. How does it work? Oh, is it the is it the base? I don't know. I have no idea how it works. Whatever. It's a lot. We have a lot of supply limit. We can have big armies in the mountains now. Well, of course you would. All right, let's let's get ready for for fighting. We have tons of manpower. I think we can take France. I'm pretty sure. Mostly re reasonably sure. Just in case uh, we'll build some more tenails. I'd like to get two more. Another 200 ducats and we can declare war. Those little, I want Treviso and Zagreb, the ones that are on the borders. What? Sure. Hey, Dauphine just got converted. That means we need a Tenail there, too. <laughs> okay, we've got to wait a couple more months. Our, our country is in a very good position. One more month. Hey, oh my gosh. It's like perfect timing. Relentless drill. Yes, let's go. Stupid rebellion. And Treviso. Yeah, Gores is easier to defend because it's coastal or it's not not a problem. You're gonna return to your your home, right? Why are you waiting? Toulouse, Malta, Savoy. Why did I lose so many claims all of a sudden? Why did I lose a claim on Savoy? I wanted that. Damn it. I don't need to loose though. And we have another province that's Protestant. Ragusa. That's actually kind of high revolt risk and it's far away. I'm gonna harsh treatment this one. And we're ready. I'm hoping that France has loaded up most of their navy. So let's see, who wants to join a war against France? The Netherlands would join. Great Britain would not. Castile's fighting in another war with me. They don't want to do it. And they're threatened by me. The Mamluks would almost join if they weren't just cordial. I would kind of like Great Britain to be involved in this. So how about we just give them some money? Maybe they'll use that to pay off their debt. And maybe that'll be enough. Almost. If I just give them a little bit more money, then I can get them to join. Treasury and local town hall. Okay. We'll hold off on the next idea group for now. And we'll send Great Britain another 50 ducats. Pay off your debt, scrub. Seriously? You didn't pay off your debt with that? You need another 25 ducats? You know the 50 ducats, probably? Did you realize that you can milk me for money? Pay off your debt! Bastard, don't build things. <laughs> you better not be upgrading your infrastructure. Great Britain. Come on, man. How much money do I have to give them?
Their first priority, if they're not at war, is it should be to pay off debt. There we go. Finally, alright. So this is going to be a pretty big war. We're going to have France and Austria and all of their friends involved. But we've got Great Britain and the Netherlands. And of course me. My massive army. I actually didn't even pay attention. What, which one did I declare on? Avignon. Damn. I should have declared it over Wallace. We have two commanders, but we also have um, our guy, who's pretty slick. So we got that guy there. That guy there. So he's there. He's there. Where are we? Apparently we're not in charge. Now we are. We will move to Savoy, you will move to Wallace. We're not surprised to learn that Great Britain joined. Same thing with the Netherlands. And then we'll just defend up here. Come at us. We'll sit on the war goal. Got a monstrous army. I, I'm willing to bet that France has stupidly been ferrying all of their army across to, to the Americas. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to declare on them. They do have a pretty good leader. And they do have... All of offensive. What did Great Britain go for? Quality. Hmm. Not so sure I approve of that. Now, I could defend Tyrol, or I could go and try to offensively siege Salzburg and Carton. It's the same effective thing, and if they actually sit on Tyrol, they're never gonna siege it, and they're gonna just suffer tons of attrition in the mountains. Normal winter. Attrition for enemies plus two. <laughs> So we're going to suffer two attrition on top of the one for sieging and on top of the one for fully defensive. And then I think, no, our, our prepared defense wore off, but yeah, no, we're going to leave Tyrol undefended. We'll just go, what's this then? That's a separate war. Oh, crap. France is pretty quick. I got to remember that. They've got Force March too. Okay, uh, it is mountains. This is exactly where we want to fight. So, um, mm -mm -mm -hmm. they're five three versus our five four with a three bonus. We're not using the whole army, so I don't think we need to reinforce. Maybe we should just in case. Yeah, this is going to be a pivotal battle. Let's get the hell over there. They're throwing everything at it. So we need to also. Gotta get there. And they're gonna lose miserably. We have more men than you. Nice. What a battle. Jeez. it's a lot of men dead. So we, um... We lost no cannons. We lost 16, 17,000 men. They lost 17,000 cavalry and stuff, plus another. They lost 50,000 men to our 17, so three, three to one. It's pretty good. I am going to go through these armies and manually turn off Force March now. And then we're going to stay in this general area. We'll take the army that's really low and send them back to, to Dauphine. We'll take the other two that are pretty low, Piedmont and this one to Cuneo. But then the two that are pretty happy, we'll send to Wallace and keep one where it is. And we'll just recover and we'll be ready to go again. Ooh, that's... that's too tempting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and annihilate that 20 stack or whatever it was. Go ahead. I want you to go for Tyrol. Please do. Go for Tyrol. That was easy. Now, Vaud. That's not mountains. I want to get into the mountains of Switzerland again. So my goal is probably to take Wallace, Savoy... Like, any of these three. Maybe Crane. Lose ducats or lose stability? The ducats. Oh, nope, don't go in there. 
and you don't want to be down in the flatlands of Lombardia. Get back up to the mountains. I think they're going to engage in one of these provinces again. Here they come. they got 100,000 men. The relative strength of the alliance is probably in their, in their favor. It is. 91,000 infantry. I've got an advantage in artillery because of the way that I'm building my armies, but... And they've got a lot of infantry. And I, I probably could rely more on infantry now that we have the plus 15% combat ability. But in the meantime, you know, they're suffering attrition. Can't make up their mind. I hope they come into my territory. Yes. Yes, do. Please do. Go towards this stuff. Don't go after the Netherlands. They're stupid. They don't know how the mountains work. They're suffering 2% attrition. It's gonna hurt. I think they might catch this army. Yeah, they did. Now, they took a crossing penalty, but that's probably it. I have to help them. I can't let them lose this fight. It's not ideal. This is not where I would have fought. But, still, a big army and look at all that artillery <laughs> that's a lot of freaking artillery <laughs> it's so good i just love it all right back to the mountains <laughs> let's go <laughs> run away <laughs> oh god i feel like you ever see you know in the movie um not braveheart um the patriot you know bruce willis not bruce willis um what's his name it wasn't bruce willis it was uh the guy who played in Braveheart, too. I can't remember his name. Anyway, uh, Mel Gibson, right? So he's, like, using his children to help take down this huge, huge amount of men because they're just being tactical and, like, hiding in the woods and fighting. And guerrilla tactics, man. This is what we're doing. We're just like, run, run! Run to the mountains! Retreat! <laughs> we're going to retreat offensively. It's good. Oh, hey, France wants to fight them again. Okay. Oh, crap, we're not going to make it in time, are we? Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. My bad, dude. I'm sorry. Still, it is Flatlands. We'll take them. It's only one penalty. That's a good fight. And, uh, yeah, we got a, half of them. And I'm curious to see how many... Ugh, it's so annoying. There's a lot of men in there. Let's go to... All those provinces. Heck, let's just take all of them. Hey, Switzerland. I've got enough artillery to fully occupy every province you have with five siege value. How's that sound? <laughs> it's so good. All right, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.